amazingly. Powerful. Without question, it is the most dangerous part of any space mission, but launch is also the most spectacular. Only about 400 Americans have taken this ride. We're going to talk with a couple of them in just a moment. But first, we want to show you one microcosmic event that may put the power of launch in personal perspective. Highland Collins now, our commander preparing to board. You've probably all seen this room before where technicians help astronauts get inside the orbiter before closing the latch and blast off. Now let's take away those technicians and watch what happens to this room during launch. This is amazing. T minus 10 seconds, go from eight engines start. Seven, six, five, three engines up and burning. Three, two, one. And liftoff of Space Shuttle Discovery, beginning America's new journey to the moon, Mars, and beyond. And the vehicle has cleared the tower. Man, a true inside view of launch. All right, let's break it down. The shuttle's mission at launch is to get more than 100 miles up into space in eight and a half minutes and must reach speeds of 17,500 miles an hour and has to do so with a very heavy payload, but one that loses weight very quickly. The orbiter weighs just over 200,000 pounds with the payload in it, and the whole stack weighs four and a half million. So that means basically you're gonna shed 4.25 million pounds in the next eight and a half seconds. Most of that weight is fuel. Meantime, inside for the crew, well, veteran astronaut and pilot Pam Melroy has ridden this rocket twice before. I'm a test pilot, and so I have a lot of pilot friends say, hey, you know, what's it like? Uh, not like an airplane, it's more like having a traffic accident. A traffic accident that begins seconds before launch. Florida Senator Bill Nelson flew 20 years ago. Blast off then, about the same as today. At T minus 6.6 .6 seconds, those three main engines ignite. You can actually feel the surge, but you're still bolted down. And then as the count goes down to T minus zero, when those solid rocket boosters light off, you definitely know you're going someplace. Definitely going someplace with a motion similar to a pole vaulter's. The shuttle actually calls back and we call it the twang. It kind of leans back and then right when it comes back to vertical at 6.6 .6 seconds, the boosters light. Now that it's off the ground and after that amazing kickoff, the shuttle begins its dash to reach orbital speed. The noise and the vibration is incredible and the sense of uh, height and speed and power. There's just no question in your mind that you are riding on the back of a rocket ship. <laughs> on my first mission, we went through a cloud deck and you might have done that in an airliner where you kind of, you know, rise through the clouds and burst out on top. We went past that cloud deck so fast, I wasn't even sure what it was at first. It looked like a little leaf blowing by in the wind. While the crew blasts towards the heavens, crews on the ground are still hard at work. So as we're watching it go up, you're watching it how the auxiliary power units are functioning, how the guidance is functioning, everything that's going on. Make sure we have proper communications with the crew. A few minutes into launch, the shuttle is already traveling at a few thousand miles an hour. G-forces on the crew are growing. Uh, the pressure starts to build, um, not like G's that we experience as pilots through our spine. That's the way we're designed to take G's. Right. Instead, it's through the chest, so it makes it kind of hard to breathe. They're feeling about two and a half G's about six minutes into flight, and they can see back to the Earth now and space ahead. Then, just before orbit... And then the G's start to build again, and for the last minute, you've got three G's. It's like somebody who weighs three times what you do, sitting on your chest. Yep. So you have to breathe in these little pants. Very close now. And then instantly, boom, just like that, the engine's cut off. Maybe. You're instantly zero gravity at main engine cutoff, mm -hmm. and all your insides kind of shift around a little bit, and your stomach says, what was that all about? <laughs> in high definition, Dave Barker, boom, HD News. Oh.